Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here and welcome to End Survival. Yes folks, this is indeed the end, but a different type of end. So, instead of the previous end that we've seen in different Let's Plays before, by that, you know, going to vanilla, finding yourself the end islands after defeating the Ender Dragon, this is modded. So this is the End Survival mod pack created by Binary Vigilante, which this is one of my favorite mod packs. And a lot of it has to do with the looks, but I do really like how this mod looks. It is one of the best looking mod packs, mainly because it's using the better end. And I think the better end might be one of the best mods ever made for Minecraft, biome wise. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff like you could argue, oh, what about Optifine uh, because of its performance? And yeah, what about roughly enough items or too many items? I was like, oh yeah, those are solid as well. But for just straight up regular Minecraft, like not performance enhancing stuff, this is probably one of the best mod packs ever made. I love the look of this and I love the potential of what you can do here. So we're gonna start off with some starter tools here and first pickaxe. What we wanna find is a pinkish stone called Flavolite. Flavolite will give us the, bit, uh, the ability for stone tools. Now we're on a bunch of end dust, which basically is sand in this dimension, so we're probably gonna wanna craft ourselves an ax as well. That way, we obviously can pick this up, maybe get some wood. Also, we have access to food, so that's one of the hardest parts of this mod pack is food. In the beginning, a lot of the time, you will not be lucky you're going to want to conserve your energy as much as you can and build up blocks and explore because it is very, very difficult to get blocks sometimes, especially if, if you get a bad spawn, which is very much likely sometimes. And I am not seeing any, so I'll show you guys what I mean by this wood. Okay, here we go. So this is the lava light that I was referring to. This is basically your cobblestone in the end. We're going to try to get enough for a sword, a pickaxe, and an axe. Everything else I can work with wooden for now. Especially if we can get a lot of thasmium ore. So if you don't know what thasmium is, that is essentially the iron of the end. Now, you can still get iron tools in the end. The thing is, it's really difficult because you got to go into end cities. And modded or not, those are going to be really difficult when you don't have that many tools. Especially like I do now, and I already see some Thasmium, so we can make some Thasmium armor. Tools-wise, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. You need some specialty stuff, if I believe. But once we have those together, and then once this is together, we'll be able to actually start off here. And I really want to make a starter base somewhere around here, at least. Because we do not have a way to properly respawn. So what we need to do for respawn purposes, so it's going to be the... There we go. Uh, it's this. So we have the respawn obelisk. We have to craft one of these if we want a place to respawn. And right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult because once again, we don't have the tools. And <laughs> without going and getting the tools, we're not going to be able to go get that ore. And a lot of it is stuff we're going to have to explore a lot, especially the amber. Uh, I think we might be close to an amber area. Maybe. But I'm not sure. So we're going to have to make some place over here. And I think... This land specifically might be the perfect place to do it. Now that is what I'm talking about by Phasmium. It spawns pretty regularly here, and with it being up there and also some there, there's gonna be a lot all over the island, uh, islands, even including on top of these, potentially. And the more we find, like we're still finding more, the more we're gonna have better armor off the bat, which is what I wanna do. And I think I can make a Phasmium, uh, anvil if i'm correct so we're gonna collect some of those here in just a moment because we need to craft ourselves more tools we're gonna get the replacements axe pickaxe and sword oh there we go we have advanced on into this world now that we got that all together i think we have two things we want to do so we one want to get enough uh blocks so we can explore these islands a little bit by explore i mean travel to them uh and get to the chorus fruit uh because if we can get one chorus fruit we can grow more and they grow pretty fast if you're around them and then second we want to get those so that's our two main goals here oh that's so much faster 
So we're going to be able to get that Thasmium and probably get some better gear here as well very quickly. Okay, boys, it's time for some of that delicious Thasmium. There it is. Ooh, and because this is past, because uh, this is 1.17 when this mod back takes place and this version of Better End, obviously he's here in 1.17, we get them in nugget form. That's amazing. Now, I wonder if we can explore up, ooh, up here. Yeah, got to make sure of those and be careful. They do have a little bit of weight to them. But we might have some more ore, stuff like that over here. I can tell there is a lake under here, so we want to be careful about that. So where was that other Thasmium? It's like somewhere over here. I think it was over here. Oh, there it is. It's going to be a little bit difficult to grab. We want to be a little bit careful because I think this is literally right under a river. Yep, and it's going up there. Let's grab it. Come on. Swim. Swim. There we go. Ooh. Oh, and we have some sponges. Can we grab these? Oh, these are going to be so... So this is the end's version of a regular sponge, and these are going to come so in handy. Uh, if we want to go and, like, flatten an area, this is going to come so in handy. And there's some really cool decorative blocks, too. We can make a base exclusively, like, on water, too, if we really wanted to. It is so pretty. Let's go explore this biome next. Oh, boy. I do not like being over the, the void. The, uh, being over the void is the one way for my anxiety to go through the roof. Okay. I think I'm fine using some flavolite here. Anything for the, the sake of food. So we want those. We want to get those before we go and tear this sucker down. And what we're going to have to do first before that. We're going to have to kind of harvest this island a little bit. So we can do that. And the fact that this is a different block is kind of cool. Whoa. Okay, folks, once we're here, we can grab the chorus flower. And this will give us the ability to farm this so we don't have to worry about not having food. Did that? Oh, that barely survived. That is good. The more of those, the better. I think I'm good just breaking these and then making my way down we I don't really care as much about leaving this place fully undone or not mainly because I'm I don't plan on being here too much also I see more thasmium and some I think ender shard so there's two ways to get uh stuff for uh ender pearls or in this case uh eyes of ender stuff like that you don't exactly need to go and kill an Enderman for those. In this mod pack, you have the ability to craft them just from just random shards. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Give me that food. Oh. Oh, wonderful. So now we have the ability to go plant. I'm not going to eat this till I get to, the, uh, get to the main island. I think I have a good reason why there. I think anybody can agree that it'd be a bad idea to not do that. We have water right there. We should be fine just, uh... Ugh, yeah. Getting that nice little bath in. And then right about... Hello, sir. Uh... Is it here or is it here? I don't want to be knocked off. There's around... Ah, there it is. And there's even more. Neat. So we should just be able to hop down. Perfect. We're also going to just press this button. Press the shift. I don't want to die. Can we grab this now too? Actually, before we do that, be safe. There we go. Yep. Actually, no, this isn't Ender Shard. This is Shadow Quartz. Okay. It has a very similar, uh, similar look to another thing, which is called Ender Shard. So maybe they replaced it. Or maybe this is a... Uh, the same thing, or maybe it is just an entirely new block, and they just replace it entirely. 
I thought I saw more. Excuse me? Where I've seen more. Apparently not. But we are up to 17. If I can get like a full set of gear done, that would be great. Now it's time to make it home. Or where home is going to be. Okay. Now we're back at the main island where I'm going to make my home. And that is the scary part. That it can teleport you. So let's do that one more time. Let's go a little bit this way and do it one more time. Oh boy. That is not fun in the slightest. But it's gonna have to do. So what we're gonna do before we continue, before we continue, we want to go and just start planting these in a spot. I think over here should be perfectly fine. Uh, do you just need, is it endstone? Do we plant these on endstone? Uh, if we do, I don't wanna go and waste it. So let's do that. So I know in regular Minecraft it's, yeah, okay. Regular endstone, regular old endstone. There we go. Because I know sometimes in mods it changes everything up, so... This way, we can easily have like a little farm going. Oop, come on. There. Hey, hey. Wrong tool. There. So we can have an easy farm going. Start farming these up. I would like to get a decent, decently big farm if I can. That way, it is just easy. We don't have to worry about food, at least temporarily. Uh, I would like to get better food. There is a way to get better food in this mod pack. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So I'm gonna go and grab that and hopefully we can get enough with a lucky, a lucky little dice roll from the game maybe and see if we can make ourselves some full gear this episode. Okay, folks, so I have researched to get this a very iron like armor here armor and obviously the stuff we need We need at base nine. So we need nine 18 27 So we need three blocks at least and we also need to make the hammer which is gonna be another block uh, right here block that and it's gonna be in the smithing table which lord knows okay we're gonna need that one should be easier to get but the best thing that we want to do here basically is to get a stack of thasmium ore i see some down here and then there's a bunch underneath an island over here my hope is to mine down close to this one obviously we don't want to fall through the world but once we find as meh all of this is that we can I think a stack should be good for what we need to start off with. Oh boy, I can't wait to have some kind of a chanting system set up. I don't know how enchanting is going to work exactly, so we're just going to have to see how that goes. Okay, we're now at 35 of our goal of 64. Oh boy, we had a vein of eight and now we're up to 49. Here we go. This should totally get us over that goal. Hopefully, come on. This is a big vein. There we go. We got over the goal. 64. That's me and more. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Also, it's really dangerous to really do that and look just randomly uh, face on on the camera. Because there's a strong chance an Enderman could spawn at any time. Okay, I'm not seeing anything over here. I'm just looking around just to see if there's anything of note. There really isn't any. So I'm going to go ahead on my way back to where the base is going to be. And we're going to start going in a... Oh, wait. I'm going to grab this as well. And then I'm going to make my way back. Okay, now that we have some charcoal... I'm going to use that to go and start smelting. So we're going to have to chop a lot of wood, but I want to get all this done. I need, I need the armor and I need the tools. Okay, folks, 
it is all done. Now it's time to turn this into... I think it needs to be four. So one, two, three, four should be good to suffice. And then we have a shebang. There we go. Thasmium Anvil. Now... We're going to need a hammer, which, where's the hammer? Right here. We need it in the smithing table. Let's give you one stick, one that, and then for the smithing table, we need... Okay, that's going to be easy. That will be really easy. So, bam. Throw those there. Throw two there. There's our smithing table. Stick there in. Oh, okay. There we go. And then if I'm correct, so we want to get all of this. To do that, we need to throw it in there, do that. Okay, look at that, we can make an ax, we can do this. So we're gonna do a bunch of these. And then we can also go and build ourselves all we need for the rest. So sword, we can even do the shovel. Pickaxe. Uh, oh, I didn't need that, oops. Um, Where's the axe? Where is it? There it is. And then, might as well do the hoe. Why not? Now we can go over to here. Get all of these together. Chest piece. Pants. Helmet. And boots. Okay, folks. We're gonna point ourselves a little bit downwards so we don't go and get ourselves killed. Bam, bam. Oop, come on. Bam, and bam. Oh, looky there. Look, we are all, all all iron, or not iron, thasmiumed up. And look how good that looks. That armor looks spectacular. And now that we're here, so if I'm correct, how do we craft all of this? So to craft something like the pickaxe, we need a stick that way. Nope, other way. There we go. There's the hoe. What about the pickaxe? There we go. Uh, shovel. Perfect. Axe. How do we get the sword? Oh, we have to go and do a specific handle. Okay, we can easily do that. There we go. Now that we have that, we can throw this in. If I do this correctly. Okay. Okay, 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 folks. That took a little bit of confusion because I wasn't knowing what I was doing for a second. But we can finally retire these. Heck, we're going to move that out of the way. Look at that. Look at our weapons. Oh, boy. And then we can keep that there. Oh boy, folks, we are fully Thasmium armored up, fully armored, and we have some decent weapons, which these are very close to, like I said, iron. Might be a little worse, but for our situation, it is pretty, pretty swell. Now, folks, it is time to build the starter base. Okay, folks, I got a little basic starter plan here. So, I'm going to have a little window here. I'm going to have this stripped down. This is the uh, wood that's around here, the Locker Grove wood. I'm going to have these edges completely uh, just uh, filled, and then only the inside parts here are going to be uh, stripped, like over here. I kind of like the little outline of this. And then on the inside, we're going to use these stone bricks, we're going to have double doors going that way, and then we're going to also have this here. It's a double door there, double door here, and we're going to have it go there to here. Some storage and stuff over here, and then a bed and everything else. Well, not bed. We can't sleep here or we'll explode. So all of our, like, grindy, like, all of our stuff over here, like our furnaces and stuff, can go over on this side. And then our roof, I'm still figuring out the roof. We have limited blocks right now, so I'm still figuring it out. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. I finally have found our roof material. Oh, I've been looking for this for so long. Oh, okay, I think the best one's gonna be, uh, the best two to use is gonna be a mixture of the Viber Gel uh, Jade Stone and the Azure de uh, Jade Stone. We are in the end after all, and that's kind of a theme. So might as well pick these up. Okay, we're back here at the base, and it's time to start building.
course, we have the finished design for the starter house. Look at that. That there is one of my best roofs I think I've ever built. It's fully decorated here on the inside and on the outside. So as you look here, I went and got a couple of the wood from over there. Uh, what is this called? Uh, Lucina, uh, Lucinia? And then uh, I did it all around for all the window seals. And then when you head on the inside, we have it fairly furnished. So we have ourselves a little chair with a little bit of sign so you can just sit down. We have ourselves a minor uh, chest storage system. It's not too major. Over here we have our furnaces, our anvil, our smithing table, and our crafting table. And a little bit more decorations like this, which has given us light. I am extremely proud of how this turned out. I am really, really excited on where this series goes, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, because I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys extremely enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's episode, consider subscribing. Because if you subscribe, well, there's a decent chance we can hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. Yes, I am talking about by next year. If you guys can press that white button down below. Yes, it is white now. We can reach that goal. Consider liking the video because YouTube likes it when you press that button. The more you press that button, the more it goes. To more people, the more people, the more views. And consider comment, commenting down below. And uh, for the comment question, how did you think this house turned out? Because I'm extremely proud of it. Uh, is there anything you think I could do to improve this base? Let me know down below. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I can't wait to see you guys in episode two. See you guys later.